Hey guys, Since Psycho 81 Lovely here. Um, I wanted to do a really quick review on a product that I just recently bought and then I have a haul for you guys. I wanted to review really quick the um, Fresh Picked Hard Working Lip Butter. This is, I got the Pink Passion Fruit one and I will probably go back and get the others. Um, this is great. I like it. You just kind of screw the lid on and then screw it off. It's not one of the pop on, pop off lids, which I just found out that today. I was reading um, the Bath and Body Works Sistas page and somebody posted that you screw the lid on because I was actually trying to just set it on and it didn't really seem to want to screw. And it was just kind of like, so I was like, well, I can't put this in my purse, but it actually does. If you keep going, it does screw on. So, now I can put it in my purse. Yay! Anyway, I don't have anything on my lips now. Everything's been rubbed off. It's a very light tint. It's not, you know, a heavy tint. Um, I have the strawberry one. has a thicker tint. So, I'll probably be getting that one. I want all of them because it's just good product. So, there it is on, and it's just, it's a nice light pink tint. I mean, that's, I like light tints that moisturize my lips. That's what I prefer to wear all the time. I'm not a huge lipstick person, really, at all. <laughs> so, I love stuff like this. Um, this reminds me of the lip glosses they ha that they had back in the day, like back in my day when I was shopping at Bath and Body Works and everything was in this awesome little country basket. They had lip glosses in tins and little glass jars like this. And I had the cherry vanilla one. And this stuff really reminds me of that. And I just, I love that kind of a product. And it's great on your lips. This, I have been sick. This has kept my lips moisturized, and I like the tint. So, check these out. They had them in three um, scents, flavors, whatever. And I hope that they bring out more of these because I'm really liking them. It's $8, and you get .88 ounces, which is 25 grams. I mean, it's quite a bit. It will take me a while to go through that, but um, I really like it. They had the pink passion fruit, strawberry, and a peach one. So there's my quick review on that. Now I will get into my haul. Um, first of all, I wanted to say that I exchanged some soap sleeves today. I had a lot of soap sleeves. I had five of them that I brought in today to exchange because they won't fit the soaps anymore, and I heard that Bath & Body Works was letting us do that. So I got this one for the foaming soap. And I got another one just like that for foaming soap. And then I got one in the same pattern, which is for the other hand soap. What are they calling the other one now? The It's not antibacterial. The hard working hand soap or whatever. Yeah, I forget. Anyway, and then I got, I got one of these last time I was in. I got another one of these. So now I have two for foaming soap and then one for the hard working hand soap with the rhinestones. Um, I had to pay a few extra dollars because this one had rhinestones in it. I don't care. The ones I returned did not have any rhinestones. So that makes sense. I also had to pay a few extra dollars for this one because he's ceramic and the other ones that I exchanged were just plain metal. That did not bother me at all. I'm glad I'm just glad that they're letting us do that, you know, because we spend a lot of money on these accessories and things, you know, that makes our soaps look nice and luxurious and goes with our counters or our decoration and then they change the bottles and I'm glad they changed the formula, but when they changed the bottle, the first thing I thought of was, you know, all my soap sleeves. So I'm really glad that they let us do this and I did not mind at all to pay extra for the special sleeve. Isn't he cute? I might go back and buy another one of him too. I love turtles. They mean a lot of like good luck type things, especially for women from the research I've done. So anyway, you can just pop any soap in him and it doesn't have to be the foaming. It can be either or. I don't have another one of 
the other types of soap in this haul, but either one will fit in there. All right, and he he was nine fifty, so. All right. And what I bought today, I did two transactions and I used two survey coupons. I got a new loofah. You know, you got to change these out once in a while. Keep them fresh. I loved the light pink color. So I got that. I got two pillow sprays. I have been meaning to get pillow sprays forever now. My pillow spray has been gone for a while and I've been using um, a body spray a aromatherapy body spray so I got a lavender mist lavender vanilla pillow mist and I got eucalyptus spearmint pillow mist so these will be very nice um sometimes when I change the bed I just I spray the whole bed and the sheets and the comforter and the pillows and everything with these I love it I got a hard working hand and body cream and this one is in market peach I like these I tried a couple of them in the store these feel great on your hands absolutely wonderful um, and it doesn't wear off like some of their hand creams I feel like they wear off this one I do not feel like it does that and I also got it in the Meyer Lemon. This is my favorite fresh pick scent, I think. It really is. I absolutely love. I'm one of those weird people that has to have lemon scents in the kitchen. I love the soap. That's where this lotion will go. You know, wallflowers for my kitchen. It's one of the only places I keep wallflowers now because I don't feel personally for me that they work in bigger spaces. But um, this will be great after you do dishes and your hands are all, ew, you know, put on your hard-working hand and body cream there. I got a couple of these room sprays. This is the Renew and Refresh, and I feel like it's a new scent. At least I hadn't seen it before, and I really like this scent. For my room sprays and stuff like that, I don't like to go with a lot of the foodie scents. I like fresh, citrusy, crisp scents, and this is wonderful. It's close to the cotton which is my favorite but it's just a little softer than that I don't really know how to explain it I I like it a lot um, check it out next time you're in the store I really like that one you know what I miss one year a couple years ago around the holidays they had little sleeves for these guys and I only bought one oh, I would have bought a lot more than that if I knew that they were going to just disappear and never come back my mom got some for everybody's stockings too and one for herself and we had no idea that they were never going to come back we would have gotten more i picked up a couple more soaps i ran low on soaps and i started um, sending them to work with my husband and i started taking them to work to use up the ones um the old ones with the triclosan in them i didn't want any more of those in my closet now that they offer new soaps without it so we just kind of got rid of those and then i was like i don't have any soaps <laughs> Oh my gosh! So anyway, I've taken care of that. I got a Sweet Tangerines. This is awesome. I I just love the Fresh Picked. I love all of them. But I picked this one up today because I did not have it yet. And I also got a Market Peach. And I mainly use the foaming soaps um, by the bathroom sinks. But I do keep the hardworking hand soaps by the kitchen sink. And I got one of these little hand creams. This one is Island White Pineapple. I love pineapple scents. I love pineapple drinks, too. Just add rum. This is very, very, it's a tropical, mm, fruity, tropical pineapple Maybe a very ever so light hint of coconut, but not really. If you don't like coconut, it could just be in my head. You know, you should smell this anyway. It's, it's just so fruity and citrusy and tropical. I love it. In fact, I might need to go get some more 
soaps and anything else that comes in the scent because I really like it. There might even be a candle. I don't know. And if there is, I'll have to go see. Anyway, so that is my haul today. And I got two surveys on my receipts which is awesome because I, I won't go in the store without one. If I forget to put them in my purse or something, I just won't go that day. Because, you know, I try to keep them in my purse, but if I change purses for whatever reason. Um, the coupon that they're putting in your bag right now says Bonjour from French Countryside. Save 20% on your entire purchase. Details are on the back. Details are... Save 20% off your entire purchase. Offer valid in store March 31st through April 27th. New fragrances inspired by the rolling hills and lush ingredients of the French countryside. I'm excited for these soaps. Are you guys surprised that I'm excited about the soaps? <laughs> I'm actually a little bit excited about the body care too, I think. Um, I love lavender and... I know a few people are disappointed with the EDT, and I tried the EDT on, and I left it on to see what the dry down was and everything, and I really liked it. I did think it was kind of similar to Mad About You. It's not a dupe. Um, I would say it's similar, but I could smell the lavender in it, and yes, it is a floral scent. Lavender is a flower. <laughs> I mean, um, I guess some people were expecting the honey to be stronger than it was, but I can kind of smell both of them in it on me, and everybody's different. Some people, it might really be pulling the lavender too heavy, but for me, I really like it, and I'm interested to see how long they keep this one. I really hope they don't just throw it on the shelves and then throw it off again, because I think this is going to be a really interesting scent for a lot of people. Um, so we'll see if I end up getting any body care in that or not, but these soaps... They look amazing. I will have to get the lavender one just because we all love lavender. There's a lemon one. Um, citron something. I'm old and I can't see on this coupon, but basically I'm really excited for this stuff. So there's the picture. So thanks for watching this, you guys. Let me know what you've been getting lately, what you've been liking and enjoying, what you're excited for. Um, how do you feel about the new one? And I can't, you guys know this already, I can't remember the names of anything for the life of me. The French Lavender and Honey, how do you feel about that on you personally? Um, let me know. So I'd appreciate it if you guys would comment, rate, subscribe, and share this video. Have a good one.